In this tutorial, we're going to use the roughing operation to clear out the pocket in the middle, and we're going to use a surface operation to clean out the yellow area. We'll choose our 2D pocket, choose the bottom of our pocket, we'll choose the tool that we're going to use. Since it's a very shallow pocket, just for an insert, we should be able to do it in one depth, and we'll make sure that our stock to leave is zero. It should take care of our pocket for us. For this example, I'm going to use the morphed spiral. I'm going to select a ball end mill since I'm working with a contour, and I'm going to select the 3 8 ball. I'm going to skip the selections. We'll see what happens if we need to come back in and change them, we can do that. The one thing I do want to make sure is that I change my step over. By default, HSM has a 50% of the tool diameter for the step over, and you can change that to whatever appropriate is going to look for your container or for your surface. So I'm going to change that to 0 0.05, and we'll say OK, and we'll be able to tell what it looks like in the simulate. Now what you can see is I have the ball end going over a surface that has already been machined. So this is a time where I'm going to try to set up some boundaries to keep the ball end mill out of an area that's already been done. So the really nice part is I can come back in and I can change my contour selections right here. So I can either choose selections, I can choose silhouettes. For this one I'm going to choose a selection. I'm going to choose the bottom or this top ring, either one of them as a boundary, and then I'm going to choose this ring. If you only choose one, the tool will stay inside. If you choose two, it will stay in between. I'll select OK, and now we should have our morph, our morph spiral in between those two selections. So now we should be able to have our end mill clear out our middle, our middle part, and then we'll have our ball end take care of the rest. We can then come back over to our statistics and we can see what our machining time is. Right now I've got a 20 minute and 32 second machine time. I can come back into our more spiral. I can then change our step over from 50 thousandths to 60 thousandths and see what it does with our machine time. So I'll come in and simulate and go to statistics and I've dropped it down to 16 minutes and 24 seconds. One of the nice parts is I don't actually have to go through the complete simulation just to see the machine time or the estimated time. Now, I may see that that's too much for that tool to really go ahead and do, so I can add the last activity by going ahead and doing a pocket operation first, where I can rough it off, leaving a small amount on the bottom surface for the morph spiral to go ahead and take care of. You can try that on your own.